Well, hello, beautiful. I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying your life as much as possible. I thought I would just kind of put on my skin, my face, whatever, and talk to you a little bit, connect with you. This will probably be my last video before, yeah, it's going to be my last video uh, of the year of 2020. I have some other videos that I'll be posting that I've already filmed prior, but I just wanted to kind of just um, connect and tell you how much uh, my team and I are appreciative of you and we're just wishing you the best, uh, hoping that you are, you know, managing the storm as best as possible and uh, getting creative with how you can connect with your family, even if it's, you know, through phone or whatever you have to do. So um, I have nothing on my face. I am going to, I'm going to share my, I'm a one trick pony. I feel like girl, cause I keep talking about this, but it's funny. Cause you know, I think the majority of things I mentioned, there's only a small percentage of people that end up doing it. And then they'll come back and ask me, how do I do this? And I'm like, I kind of been talking about that for a few years now. girl. <laughs> so I want to share a trick with you that, um, I shared it in my last video a couple weeks ago, but, um, I'm going to show you a few different ways to use glycerin today, because I think it's going to be the thing that blows your mind with how to keep your skin hydrated because you know here's the thing you know when you buy a cream um like a face cream like a generic face cream or whatever some kind of moisturizer that doesn't have active ingredients in it the majority of what's making any type of plumpness occur or a reduction of uh, the appearance of wrinkles and lines which is just temporary is the water that's in there and the humectant that's mostly in there whether it's hyaluronic or like glycerin or a peptide or something so glycerin which is in the majority of products i bought this at cvs and you can get it on amazon this was like eight dollars this will last you probably a year or longer it's able to be used on all skin types regardless of concern now this should not replace a moisturizer this is an added essence serum uh, to give you to flood your skin with more hydration when you really need it especially during the winter right now i'm up north we're visiting uh, nate's father we've had a lot go on i'll explain more later we have a lot of good things happening too nate's dad is doing well we got a new puppy so we're trying to count our blessings and focus on um you know the good that we do have in our life and my skin has been it's actually been fine, but the first couple of days, uh, we just had so much going on and I was not doing too much to my skin because I just couldn't think about that. And my body, even my fingernails and my cuticles were just feeling, you know, that feeling of dryness and tightness, not in a good way. And this is what's saving me right now. So um, what you can do, I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can use this. Um, so the first thing you can do is you can just apply it into your hands like two drops maybe three if you apply it straight to your skin like this it's going to be a little sticky but it will absorb but it takes about 15 minutes so you have to determine what works best for you if you don't want to wait and you don't want to deal with the stickiness then just get your fingers wet just a dash just a little bit of water like this and then mix it like this and then literally press it onto your skin after you cleanse and exfoliate it should be the first thing you put on because it's going to be the thing that gives your skin the hydration that it needs that's really what is causing a lot of that aged older looking skin look is a lack of water in the skin so it's not oil i mean sometimes but it's usually the evaporation of water out of your skin so when you flood your skin with a lot of hydration with something like glycerin girl you're going to set your skin up for success because hydration is the number one thing that causes a lot of issues, including just wrinkling and irritation. Also, if you're using Retin-A, benzoyl peroxide, a lot of active ingredients, if you did a peel, a laser treatment, you have eczema, psoriasis, sensitive skin, this can be used on all skin types. If you've got some special concern going on, always get clearance, of course, from your doctor or whatever you need. But I've been using this for 20 years off and on, and I recommend it to even clients with eczema, psoriasis, or very, very sensitive skin. Um, now, of course, this, you know, there's a lot of hydration products out there on the market that are really good as well. This is just for the people that want to try to figure it out for themselves, and you may decide this is enough for you. The other thing you can do is I got this little bottle from CVS as well, just to show you as an example. It's a two ounce little bottle, so I usually add about 10 drops 
um, per ounce. So this was about 20 drops I put in here. Um, and so I just literally like drip this shit in here, bro. It's not, I'm not fancy about it like this. Girl, I had some coffee. I'm shaking today. Woo! I had that nitrous, nitro brew from Starbucks. I didn't think it was going to be much different than like their cold brew. It's much stronger. <laughs> I feel like I'm sweeter again. Oh, it's not good. And just shake it. I prefer to use filtered water or distilled water. It's like even the best because of the pH. But if all you got is faucet water, it's fine. Shake it every time and then just spray. Every time you are done cleansing or before you do anything, you spray with this and the glycerin. Um, it lasts about a week maybe in here because there's no preservatives. So I'd probably toss it just to be safe. I mean, whatever. And then the same rules apply to your body. If you're going to put in your... Like when I get out of the shower, I will pour quite a bit in my hands and I'm all dripping wet and then I just move it all around my body and then I see how much moisture I need. Usually I don't need much, but then I'll use like an Aveeno moisturizer um, afterwards. So that's like you're putting this down as your base coat for hydration and then moisturizing after. So same rules apply to the skin. So you would hydrate, put the serum on like I showed you just on there with some water or whatever. Um, or spray it, let it absorb for a few minutes, and then moisturize with your normal cream. You'll notice you'll use way prob a lot less, probably. Um, and then also another little cool trick is I'm just taking my rehydrating cream here, um, which has a lot of hyaluronic. This is like a soup. The thing about this is it's like meant for acne and it's super hydrating and it's best to be applied wet really all moisturizers that don't have active ingredients in them should be applied to damp skin in my experience and opinion but you can just sit here and you take whatever moisturizer it doesn't matter you have now whether it's even a buck and let's say you just want to take a generic cheap ass moisturizer and bump it up a level with more hydration all you do is you put that on the back of your hand like this and then add a drop if you're severely dehydrated or want more hydration maybe two in this case i'm just going to do one because i'm already feeling moist from the spray and everything and applying it directly and you just sit here and you cocktail it together and then apply it and then watch it just take that moisturizer that you have to the next level because ideally the thing that's in the moisturizer that's going to help with wrinkles and dehydration and everything is the water or the humectant that's in there and the issue is you know a lot of hyaluronic acid products are um, can be drying to the skin. So doing this, oh, you can also add this. I should do like a whole like video with this, but of all the things you can do with this stuff. Um, but you can also, oh my God, I lost my thought. You can also add this to, oh, I can't even remember what it's going to say. Anyway, I'm, I, I'm talking too much already. Um, yeah, anyway, so Okay, I'm pretty hydrated. I'm almost too hydrated because I feel a little sticky. So that's the thing with the glycerin is if you use too much, you'll feel sticky. So use less or add more water or something to break it down. Um, I feel like what I was going to share was so important, but I guess I lost it. Anyway, I um, am going to use my sexy skin tint now. If you're ever feeling like super hydrated before you put on your makeup or whatever, you could just tissue that off. So um, you're not feeling like really, really gross. This uh, spray also, you can spray over your makeup, but it will leave a little sheen to it, which sometimes during the winter is good because when you go outside, it is cold and that wind is blasting your face. So if you spray this during the winter on your skin, it'll be a lot, it'll look more greasy looking and be very kind of, you know, almost tacky, but that will go away in the air because the the lack of water in the air um, uh, from the cold will kind of, you know, evaporate that water pretty quickly even, if it, especially if you like live in New York and stuff. So I'm just putting my tint on my hands like this. I'm not doing too much to my skin right now. I'm actually giving it a little break because I've been dealing with some irritation from, I think just a mask and traveling and not being honestly really really consistent lately because we've just been trying to get through 2020 girl fuck. what a year huh you know if it's one thing i can say about all of you 
as I've watched people, how they're dealing with this. I, I'm really impressed, you know, for the most part, I've just seen people doing what they got to do to make it, make, make their life happen and work right now. You know, you should feel really proud of yourself. Give yourself some fucking credit, girl. Okay. Especially all you moms out there and parents or single parents. I, I don't know how you're doing it and you're doing it. I mean, your kids are you know, still alive, you know, and they're, you're teaching them. And I, I mean, yeah, it's, it, I think it's so easy to kind of beat up on yourself or be hard on yourself right now, just because it's such a stressful time. So just look at all the times that you're not flipping out and doing good and, and, you know, making do with the situation is the best, the best way possible. I think that shows a lot about who you are, your character, your values, how you show up in the world, you know, something I'm doing right now is I'm releasing a lot of resistance with my thoughts about politics and policies and all of that crap going on right now. And the government, sh you know, or the shutdown and our lockdown, I'm just trying to find my peace, my clarity, my happiness through focusing on good things, focusing on what still is working, working, focusing on what ch positive changes have occurred this year. And, you know, I just don't want to be a person that's bitter and angry and resentful of, of, of things, including, you know, like politics and the presidents and all it just, it's too much. So for me, I'd rather just be happy and peaceful and um, I can still have an opinion I can still have passion but I don't need to have the energy of aggression or a, a reaction towards it it's a response and I think one of the best things I know I can do in my life is to let my alignment be the example in my life so how I'm in alignment and how I show up in the world with kindness and positivity and compassion let that be the example of my life, not having to talk about it and teach it and preach it, but to practice it, to live it, to breathe it. You know what I'm saying? So, because it's easy to just give lip service. It's another thing to actually practice. Like, oh, I hate that person, that president, that policy, that whatever. And it's like, girl, I don't have time for hate in my heart, girl. Life is too short. So... Um, it's been really working. I'm just so grateful to be alive and be healthy and be around our family. And I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you for this. We had an incredible year together. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, really, you guys are amazing. We thank you so much for just all of your support, your kindness, your positivity, your engagement, your questions. I mean, you are the brand. You are what is making us and me go keep going, you know, so know that know that with the energy and the love and the intention that you put out there, even in a little comment, a little like a little share, it makes all the difference. It gives us that kind of validation that we need to know we're on the right track and that we're attracting the right people. And I'm so blessed. If anything, I'm most grateful for in my life is who I'm attracting. All of you beautiful people, all of you beautiful customers, all of you beautiful people that are interested in this message at Montaro Skincare, which is to focus on the good, to be positive, and to improve ourselves, but to not be crazy about it, to just love on ourselves, to know we're fucking flawless, regardless of our appearance of skin or our age or what's going on in our life. We are flawless and we are beautiful and we are brilliant. So we just need to remember that. That's our job is to go back within and to see the good that is always within us. So I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your 2020 and are starting to prep and plan your 2021 with energy, with the right energy, with what type of energy you want to be living in. Instead of setting goals, it's like, how do I want to feel in 2021? In 2021, for me, I just want to feel happy. I want to feel a genuine sense of connection to my creator and to life and to everyone else and to let that alignment guide me and inspire me. So I hope that you are guided and inspired each and every day, making time for yourself, making time for your spiritual practice. Never forget your power that is always found within. And the greatest power is to be able to show up and to respond to life and the situations that life brings us without reacting and to practice faith, knowing that we are always guided and we're always going to be okay. I love you so much. Have a wonderful new year as well. And I will see you in 2020. And I'm going to... Um, probably I'll be introducing you to our baby Lola in a video um, at the beginning of the year. So I love you. Bye.